doing? Hope everyone is doing fantastically well. So today I've come to York on this uh, bank holiday weekend in August. Uh, I come to York normally for my yearly visit. Uh, it's one of my favourite cities in England and uh, York has a population of over 2,500 people. Uh, it has 365 pubs. Uh, it's also famous for the largest National Railway Museum in the world. So if you love trains, uh, then that will be a good place to check out. Harry Potter was filmed in two locations in York as well. So that's just some facts about York. Uh, we're going to check out this city today and uh, maybe later we'll go on a cruise as well. I'm inside the National Railway Museum, the biggest railway museum in the world. So if you're a train fanatic, check out this place here. Honestly, it doesn't cost you anything to enter. And you can make donations if you want to. And you've got loads of trains here to check out here. You've got the Prince William train out here too. information about this particular carriage on this train and there's quite a few eatery places all on here too to check out so you can eat there and there's more eating areas down here too so you've got a couple of, of places in here where you can have food have drinks and it's a great place to bring your family to so if, so doesn't cost anything to come in here to check out You've got the London Night Ferry Paris Brussels train right here. Okay. And we're going through North Shed. So if you're into your trains and check out this place here. Uh, but I won't bore you in here, it's too long. But this is just one of the three things you can uh, do when you come to York. Of my top three things to do in York. So another free thing to do is to walk on the city walls here. Down in that direction will take you to the National Railway Museum. You've got the view of this bridge which is always busy with traffic. You've got the Maltons, Free House Pub, Starbucks Cafe and you've got the Grand Hotel here too. And it's really busy today in York as well, so if you come on a bank holiday then you're going to be expecting big clouds. And if you want to go on the city sightseeing bus, go on that bus there every 15 minutes, hop on, hop off. Really useful if it's your first time in York. You've got the monument in there in the centre. If you want some information about walking tours, uh, check out this signage right here. Uh, you got the Vyjavik Viking Fint podcast right here too. You got the Micklegate pub right in the far corner there. A view of people going into York and out of York and you've got the Micklegate social on the left there. So I'm by the Witheroos in York and uh, some of the pubs down there are absolutely busy so if you want to go for a drink 
with your friends or your family. Check out these pubs along here. The only time that you'll see it busy when it's not flooded, so this is one of those days. Fun to go on the cruise. Prices are there if you want to go on the cruise. There's a QR code there as well. So if you want to scan it with your phone, it will have more information right there. And uh, that is the boat if you want to go on the cruise. So starting from £15. And they sail every 45 minutes there as well, which is pretty good. This is Copper Gate area of uh, York now that you'll see different colours of these uh, decorations above me here. So you'll find all your real tall shops along here. Uh, the Yorvik Viking Centre. Big crowd here for Q to get inside there. Large crowd, got to book in advance, of course. Uh, you've got the coffee place here where they do pininis, cake, pizza. You've got cattle shed here too. And if you want a crepe, you got this place up in front too. But there you go. Busy little area of Coppergate. In this area, you've got the York Castle Museum and uh, not far from here, you've got Clifford's Tower, which is a place I've been in the past. And if you want to know prices, then on this board, it will tell you prices and vary on the time of the month that you come as well. So if you come, between March and October, the open ten till six. Thirteen pound for adults and thirty-four for two adults and up to three children. So if you want to pause the video for Pisces, check it out. Nice view from the top. And this bus stop is another stop where you can uh, go on the sightseeing bus too. So you just hop on, hop off. And if you cross the road here, it will take you to the Witheroos and you can either go on the cruise from there as well. And if you're looking for a hotel to stay at and you want to be in this area, You've got the Hilton Hotel in the far corner there. And if you're looking for something else to do as well, you've got the York Army Museum straight in front of you as well. So that's the York Army Museum right there for you. Nice view that isn't it of the Clifford's Tower. And if you keep walking on this uh, path here, it'll take you into the central of York.
yes? Yeah. On the left here, that will take you to the river as well. Is it? And on the corner here, that is the York Dungeon. So that is the York Dungeon right there for you. So that's the York Dungeon, very busy. You go down there, you'll see a couple of pubs. So we're going to go for a little walk now and uh, I'm going to show you guys the Shambles Market. Uh, this is one of the main areas when you come into York. <laughs> Check out this guy here dancing. <laughs> um, you've got M&S on the right. <laughs> uh, you got a few eatery places on the right there. Uh, you got Costa Coffee on the left. And uh, you got Shambles Market down on the right here. The famous Shambles Market. Really crowded in this market here. Selling all your mobile thing, uh, phone things, jewelry, flowers at the beginning of this market. You got a pub here too. Price of the food that I got here. And if you love um, posters, art, you've got these along here too. Couple of food vendors. You get coffee, iced coffee, burgers. You got your market here too of all your food and veg. Selling only key rings on one of your socks. Yeah. Place to get a tattoo too. And down there you can get some food as well in, all in this area. It's a big section here. Always busy in this area. You can get pizza, Thai food. But you see it. Always busy along here, and if you want Greek food, there's a Greek food vendor up in front too. Small food places on the, along the left here. Gotta go from that music. 
and you've got the market cat on the left here too so that completes the circle of what they've got at this uh, shambles market here a very very busy area when you come to York here that's to show you how busy it is along here you got Golden's, no, Goldie's bagel all on here too. <laughs> Tallest are down on the left if you know if you need to know where the tallest are. Where's <laughs> Amy? Where are we? And another place to get a burger. All on here too. Those are the prices. We'll continue going down this way now. If I'm fish and chips, you got Mr. Chippy on the left. Uh, you got the ice cream parlor on the left there too. Checking out some prices there for you Because I know a lot of you guys like that don't you When I show you guys prices of, of foods and drink If you love pancakes, you've got the pancake house along the left here. You've got the Golden Line pub. If you want to go to a bakery shop, you've got Thomas the Baker on the right there. And if we go down this way, it will take it to the Minster. You got the York Rose Co on on the right there. Very busy with two groups along here. Drake's fish and chips on on the left. Oh, yeah. You've got Belly Italian on on the left. Online, if you want to get cheap snacks from there. <laughs> you got the Wildwood Pub um, pizza place along the left there. And if, if it's your first time coming to York and you want to buy your loved ones a gift, you got the York souvenir shop along the left here. You're going to tell him which one on the right there. Free fudge. And it's so true. Just look how busy it is, guys, along here. There's loads of people today in York.
You've got stone gate along the left here. Minster's gate along the right there. I'll give you guys a quick look of the Minster. I've shown it loads of times in the past, but it is such a beautiful building. Right, check out your minster. All right, so now I'm going to take you guys to the shambles and then I'm going to take you to uh, one last place which is free and uh, one of my favourite spots to go to and it won't cost you a penny in my um, top three things to do in York. Information about the shambles and look at the street of the shambles. Absolutely crowded. Never seems to amaze me. Every time I come here, this street is always packed out. Always. Uh, but we'll go for a walk through here, show you what's wattle on here. Try and never get my way around here. There's a massive cool on this side here. I can see that for sure. So let's brave ourselves. You've got the Volers Fudge Pantry York all on the left here. And look at the size of the crowd here. You've got the Shambles Sausage and Pie Company on this side here. It's a massive queue. You got a sweet shop here. That's from the start of it here. You got mum back. Chocolates of York, I'm on the left here. Little Shambles on the right, which will take her to the market of the Shambles. You got a jeweler shop here, on this ID too. He got the tea room on the left here. The L Grey tea room. Right, there's a bit more space to walk along this uh, street now. You've got one house Korean restaurant on this side here. <sighs> the shop that must not be named. 
From the famous Harry Potter film. So there's a queue to get in there. They've got different teas on this shop here too. And uh, that bins is out of the Shambles Street. So you got the Stoneboard pub along this side here, Greg's. And if you like gin, you've got York gin along that side there. Ah, uh, you got the pizza along this left hand side here too. Uh, you've got Piccadilly Street down that side. You've got the pavement of Alts Free House pub there. And uh, that would take it to the shambles. Up in front you've got the famous Betty's Tea Room and normally you have to queue up for quite a while to go inside of there. I'll show you prices quickly. Ah, oh, someone's gonna look at that board. I want to show you guys the prices. So I so those are the prices. Pause the video if you want to check out prices of the Betty's Tea Room. Ah, uh, you got Miller and Carton's Steakhouse on this side here. You've got McDonald's on the left, Mexicano on the right, heavily desserts there. Uh, you got the tea house there too. And if I'm not mistaken, this will take you to the the park. Uh, you got Ask Italian inside the day. You've got a view of your Minster down that way too. Down here. Yeah. Well, we're going to cross this road here. You got cafe and tea rooms on there, Costa Coffee. And the third place 
of my top three that doesn't cost anything to come to York is this place here. So this is the York Museum Gardens. You've got a coffee place right there too if you want to have a coffee. But it's nice here. Hey, uh, you got the sprinklers there. It's one of my favourite spots here. Chill on the grass. Relax. And up in that far corner, you've got the Yorkshire Museum. Four pound each for the hold a bird of prey. Every time I come to these uh, gardens, they always have that bird of prey. Nice. It must be some special day today because I see a lot of people outside that building here. If I zoom in, get to this idea. See there. See right there. Someone's special day. Oh, there you go. Nice area, isn't it? So after showing you guys around York and uh, showing my top three places of York you must uh, check out, uh, I went to Drake's Fish and Chip uh, shop uh, where fish and chips there will cost you $9.95. Uh, they have a restaurant there too so if you want to eat inside the restaurant you can or you can just uh, take them away. So we're going to try these fish and chips so let's dig in. Let's try the chips first. Chips not too bad. This is the haddock, as you can see here. We'll take one more bite, and that is the batter there too. I'll give those fish and chips a seven out of 10. They're not amazing. They taste alright, a bit greasy I must say, but overall not too bad. 
So I hope you guys have enjoyed um, the video of York. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, God bless, and hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you.